hi guys welcome back to the channel in today's episode i'm actually going to be sharing with you all all our different last styles they're like about seven seven different last styles in our foaming lash collection so guys if you want to see them up close and personal before you head to the store so you know which one you need to pick up stay tuned to this video okay i'm going to show you guys just head on over to the other side <laughs> All right, so the first lash I'm going to show you is Wispy Dreams. This is it here. You've seen it. Nice. So Wispy Dreams is actually longer in the middle of the lash. And I'm going to be using our lash holder to take it off of the packaging. And with Wispy Dreams, the lash hairs are a little longer in the middle. Let me show you. You're seeing it there. This lash is has given you a slight wispy touch to it, but it's not that three-dimensional. I hope you're seeing it properly there, right? Yeah. So this is wispy dream. So it's wispy. It has that wispy effect. You see how it is, the lashes, how they are towards the camera lens. But it doesn't have that three-dimensional effect. So if it is you're looking for a, a volume lash, but you don't want that three-dimensional look, Wispy Dreams will definitely give you that effect. All right? So when a lash has hairs that are longer in the middle, it helps to open the eye. All right? So if you are interested in opening the eye, you might have a smaller eye and you really want to open the eye, definitely try out uh, Wispy Dreams. As I mentioned, the lash hair is a little longer in the middle, right? So it really helps to open the eye because it's right above the iris. The, the longest part of the lash hair is right above the iris. So it helps to open the eye, all right? So that is Wispy Dreams. The next lash I'm going to show you is Pretty Dolly. Now, Pretty Dolly is actually what I have on right now um, in this video. Um, Pretty Dolly is actually one of my favorite, favorite lashes from the collection. So I would have named the lash Pretty Dolly because it is the same length throughout. That doll-shaped lash. It's the same length throughout. So let me show you here closer to the camera. See, it's the same length throughout. It's not like Wispy Dreams where it had lash hairs longer in the middle. All right, so this is um, Pretty Dolly. So Pretty Dolly is also Wispy, as you can see, very lightweight, but it's the same length throughout, right? From inner corner to outer corner, it's the same length throughout. But it really helps to give you that doll effect with your eye. It, it really does. That's why it's called Pretty Dolly. So you see it's the same length throughout. So this type of lash is really good for persons who have um, almond-shaped eyes and they could wear any type of lashes. This type of lash is really, really good for those persons because it's the same length throughout. And persons with almond-shaped eyes can get away with any um, style of lash. All right, so that's Pretty Dolly. The next lash I'm going to show you is another favorite, um, Lavish. Now, you're probably saying, oh my God, these lashes look very similar, but it's in the details. You know, if you're very familiar with lashes, you would see um, the differences with the lash. So Lavish is three-dimensional. It's a step above um, wispy dreams so it's giving you that volume it's giving you that definition and it's also giving you that 3d effect so let me grab the lash from the tray to show you right so this is lavish so it gives you that crisscross feel from the band of the lash you see how it crisscrosses here it gives you that so that will help to give a romantic look 
to the eye and then it's three-dimensional look how wispy it is it's so much more wispier than wispy dreams yeah so lavish is very much a favorite it's a very voluminous lash um and, but it's still lightweight guys this lash all lashes in the collection are pretty lightweight and the, the lashes are pretty long so you can actually help to cut it and shape it to your eye all right so the band is very generous so that is lavish guys lavish is definitely a favorite of mine again because it's three-dimensional it gives sort of that mink lash effect which is a go right now um, because a lot of ladies um, when they are on a budget they prefer a lash that they can actually get um, those characteristics of a mink lash with a faux mink lash so if you're looking for that type of mink lash feel with a lot of volume definitely get your hands on lavish all right lavish is a good one i like lavish a lot um another favorite and i know you're probably saying curries but all lashes are favorites at this point but really and truly i'm just going based on feedback that i have been getting not only based on you know my own likes and dislikes um so cat eye cat eye what could i say about this lash this lash is thick it is a volume it is drama and then it helps to give you that cat eye, that wing look. So if it is you want to create a cat eye and you have like a really nice wing, you have a, you did a really nice wing liner, or you're doing something like um, a smoky eye, this cat eye lash would pair really well with that type of look. All right. So as you can see, the inner corner is shorter than the outer corner. The outer corner is longer here. So definitely this cat eye lash would give you all the drama that you need and guys one thing i want to point out with the lashes is that it's not giving you that synthetic vibe at all these are good quality as the packaging says this is premium premium for mink lashes right so i made sure in my research i went out and not just get any kind of lashes to just put anything out there on the market. I really took my time to do a lot of research and get a lot of samples to see what exactly would work well in this market. And I know a lot of ladies love mink lashes. Guys, look look at this cat eyelash. Look, look at the drama. Look at the di dimensions on this lash. Oh my God. This is a beauty, guys. This is a beauty and I have been getting rave reviews on this cat eyelash. So definitely pick it up on your next trip to the store yeah all right so we're moving along um to the next eyelash the next eyelash is simple yes because for my it have simple ladies out there they don't want their husband and their boyfriend to know that they have on lashes you know i know i know i know it have some guys who don't like those things i know but they, they still like us to look bougie and cute yeah so simple could still give you that simple natural effect without looking too overdone all right so this simple lash the lashes are short all right it is not three-dimensional it is not wispy so definitely it will just be going in between your own lashes i'm taking it out here to show you it will just be going in between your own lashes so it doesn't look as though you have on any dramatic lash at all so this is very good for everyday wear if you're wearing glasses and you know sometimes those lashes could be too long and you know hitting on your glasses or even your sunglasses as well you know simple is a good lash for that everyday wear all right so whether you're simple you're in between you're dramatic you love the lash you love the volume bougie glam we got you all right the next lash we're gonna move on to is a favorite i have heard nothing but good things about this lash and to be honest this was the first lash that i fell in love with out of all the samples and i named it tease 
tease is that lash that gives you mink lash vibes on a budget. Let me say that again. Tease is that full mink lash that gives you that mink lash vibes on a budget. Okay? So Tease is just as the name suggests. It gives you just the right amount of drama, just the right amount of volume to make you feel like you're wearing a mink lash. Look at it, guys. Look at it. Look at the dimension. It's a very 3D, right? You see how it's wispy? Oh, guys, this, this lash... It's a favorite. It's it's a favorite. Not only with me. I've been hearing rave reviews about this lash style tease. So guys, again, if you're looking for something on a budget and you can't afford the mink lash, tease and pretty dolly will give you that mink lash vibes. Yeah? And the last, the last lash style in our collection is the mix pack. Now, what I wanted to note is that with the mix pack, you can get five different lash styles, all right? Now, in the first bit of mix pack, when we first launched at the end of Feb, I would have had all other lash styles in there but simple. Um, but then, when it is, I did some more research as I launched, I decided to change the mix pack. To include simple so i took out wispy dreams from the mix pack so that was on top here and i replaced it with simple so now in the mix pack we have simple we have teas we have lavish we have pretty dolly and we have cat eye so guys if it is you're not sure just yet which one you would want in your collection in your makeup collection buy the mix pack and with the mix pack you can try the different styles this is an opportunity for you to try them see which one you like which one you feel comfortable with and then you could purchase the other ones um etc now there are some women who would continue purchasing the mix pack because they like to change up their look so depending on time of day where they're going the type of makeup that they're going to be doing they will use different types of lashes that's pretty much how i how i do it based on my mood based on my you know what i'm wearing where i'm going i would then choose the, the the right lash um to suit the occasion so guys if you have any questions feel free to jump in the comment section below and ask me I am here to help you because you know it really breaks my heart when I go to the store and I see so many women wondering which last style you know what to choose and you know you're so confused but guys just look through this video if you need go back look at the different last styles and then write it down and when you go to the store you know exactly which last style you want to purchase from our full mink lash collection all right